Many of you already know me. For those of you who don't, let me introduce myself. My name is Infamous King Ken, and this is my first YouTube vlog. I could literally not think of a better person ready for the YouTube spotlight than yours truly, myself. Just want to start off by saying if this is 1% as fun as my career as a stripper and a porn actor, you guys are in for one hell of a treat. Well, I've decided to bring the video inside the sun's about to set. December. Look at that sunset. Every day I get to see that. It's mid-December, Las Vegas, 2019. Look at that. Some people like to wake up before the sun rises. Being a true degenerate, I try to wake up before the sun sets and sometimes it's quite the challenge. My vlog is gonna be about, um, ah, uh, See about my uh, daily life, my travels around the globe, and just my daily life of living in Las Vegas. If you guys haven't heard, Vegas is a uh, pretty interesting place with a lot of uh, entertainment options. This is a clip of me about to go on Live at the Bike to play some poker in LA. I was pretty excited to be on this show. You look at the clip, all those hundreds, you look really closely, you can see some of those 25 cent coins. You never know when those might come in handy. Looks like it's money time. Live at the bike, coming on show right now. Just got a nice little power nap. I'm well rested. Woo! Woo! Look at this sweet. The vlog is definitely going to break the slogan of what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, I promise you that. In terms of categories, I'm not going to put the vlog like in a box. It's going to be all over the place, just like my life. My goal is to make this an interactive vlog where my fans decide the direction that it goes in, and there's no limitations of what we're going to discover. Where was I before Vegas? Well, I was actually in Florida for a year. How was Florida? Well, Florida was uh, pretty good. I'll let you take a look for yourself. <laughs> the Kenny Mac life. Yo, fuck Conor McGregor. <laughs> Kenny Mac life. <laughs> Kenny Mac. This is crazy. <laughs> nice one, Kenny. Good shit. <laughs> I felt pretty uh, comfortable and confident in my life at this point, like I should be doing like a uh, Southern Comfort commercial. And that's when I decided I want to explore and go to the West Coast for the first time. I literally decided to pack my Mercedes S-Class, which I bought the prior year from a doctor. And I decided to drive across the country and explore the West Coast for the first time. And let me tell you, I was prepared. I actually had a cutout of a Mr. Dos Equis guy, put him in the passenger side so I could drive cross country HOV lanes and just to, I was prepared. I've always been a fan of road trips. I really just like enjoy the uh, freedom of coming and going when you please. I've made many uh, coast to coast trips over the years. I enjoyed uh, a little over a week in LA, also was in San Diego for about a week as well. Some really nice beaches, some good vibes, but at the end of the day, Vegas definitely lived up to his reputation as the uh, entertainment capital of the world. After exploring on my road trip for about two months, this was in April, went to a bunch of casinos along the way, and uh, a lot of hot spots, you name it, I went there. Santa Monica, Pacific Beach in San Diego. I decided to settle down. Well, not settle down, but I decided to move to Las Vegas. My first 12 consecutive days in Vegas was... Uh, it was uh, quite epic. I ended up staying at the Hard Rock Casino with uh, two Swedish people I met at the pool party there called Rehab. We ended up upgrading to a pretty nice suite, split it three ways. It was a ideal situation. We had a lot of fun. The number one reason I decided to move to Vegas was the endless entertainment options. My personal favorite of all those options was the pool parties. I know it might sound a little bit silly, but when you go to one, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you go to a Vegas pool party, there are thousands of girls partying 
some time when I first moved to Vegas. I want to see how I uh, stacked up against the competition. The first casino I ever went to, pretty uh, fond of memory. I was uh, 14 years old. A few guys on my junior hockey team who were 18 and over decided to make a two hour drive from Albany, New York to a casino called Turn and Stone. And we went there exclusively to play poker. We pretty much played poker amongst ourselves for like a little bit of money here and there, we just decided to make a trip. We uh, didn't have any games and we just drove out there. Thank you, uh, Jeff and Truesdale, for bringing me along. I am not your uh, typical poker player in Las Vegas and Knit City. I don't sit around with so big headphones for eight hours, wait for Ace before I raise the pot. I actually like to mix it up a little bit. All right, this is pre flop. Pocket sixes. Nick Fertucci makes it a hundred. He, uh, that's the opening bet. I 3-bet with King 8 of spades, because that's what I do. The 400. Jerry has pocket jacks. He tanks for a second, decides to call, and Nick has pocket sixes, also decides to call. I'm going to play from here. I decided to lead out for $1,100. Two overs, Jerry calls me with pocket jacks, which is a pretty bad call. It ends up river and a jack. But my thinking is I, I can rep the bigger face cards. Flop, I have showdown value. You can maybe repop a bluff or repop a or three bets if someone bets into me. Turn comes an ace. I'm like, you know, let me just rep it. Jerry calls, and I'm pretty much going to give up on the hand. River Jack, Jerry gets his set. Oh my gosh. So now we know Jerry's hand. And he was not ahead. He had pocket jacks. I got River by Jerry. I played with Jerry many a times. He bets 2,000 on the river, and I uh, snap fold. Boop. I enjoy bad beating people. A lot of local Vegas grinders, when they bad beat someone, they're like, ah, uh, you know, they're kind of ashamed. Me, that's not the case. I actually like to embrace it with a little bit of a, uh, you're good. Wait, yeah, yeah, you're good. Wait, no, no, you're not. I actually have to do a good uh, slow roll. Once or twice. I'm a once type of guy. Yeah. Right, Can you can do some clubs one time? Only one time. You ready? Let's go. Uh, let's find out. Open. Oh, Nice river. Wow. Oh. 
Told you he's slow rolls. Told you he's slow rolls. Ken with the slow roll. Bad call all the way. Poor form. A gentleman. Can you put your allowance away? <laughs> wow. Should know that limp race was coming. I don't know if he knows Ron yeah. that well. That was my uh, first time playing with Israeli Ron. Figure I'd uh, make a good first impression. He uh, was actually a really good sport, but we became friends afterwards, and I can really, you know, appreciate a guy who you know can take a bad beat or a slow roll and just with a smile. Long live Queen Deuce. So really, Ron's a good guy. I played him a few times, and he's uh, got me back with uh, some big hands himself to him. But my favorite person to play poker with is my buddy, Dan Bolzeri. Dan is the uh, king of Instagram, as you guys, I'm sure, are well aware of. But one interesting fact you may not know, me and Dan are uh, Eskimo brothers. So he's got uh, quite the head start, but I'm going to put some work into it and play a little bit of catching. I honestly have to say, if Creel was here, it can become famous <laughs> for being a uh, ugly Russian guy who likes to party. I should have uh, no problem throwing my hat in the ring. Actually, I have to admit, Creel does have some pretty good content, and I definitely appreciate his uh, work. He's definitely an overachiever. I can't hate on him. I always appreciate overachievers.